Hello and good day to everyone. I am presenting to you Cold Ship to Full Ahead Scenario by Kongsberg Engine Simulator. Can you watch carefully and understand the process? Well, this is my own knowledge on operating the machineries and let's get started. So we first go to the emergency generator and press start. So when the emergency See generator start, proceed to electric power plant, open the voltage control. So while the engine is uh, starting up, we first ready the emergency switchboard, open the circuits. Now when you hear the engine is now fully running, we open, we in the breaker, then proceed again to the emergency switchboard and turn in all the switches then in just in now we prepare the starter system we drain the water open the net bulbs I'll open the hand pump for fast operation close the drain set to local Then proceed to diesel generator number 1, set the preheater to auto and generator number 2, set to auto. Go back to diesel generator number 1 and open the fuel oil settling tanks to boiler, fuel oil and diesel generators. Open the shut off valve and one filter. Same as the fuel oil and fill up the loop oil from global storage at least 40% to 70 level of 70 then close open the pump control to auto and click again same process as the first one so if you find this uh, fast uh, kindly message me and I'll give you the copy of call chip to pull ahead just message and comment in the comment section below. Then after that, we proceed to see water system. Open the bulbs. The suction. Auxiliary. Then proceed to fresh water system. Then proceed here to the air ventilation system. Uh, I forgot to test in the starters, then go back. Forward. We ready for faster uh, operation. Just to show you how to operate from cold chip to full ahead. Acknowledge the alarm. Then we set the emergency generator to auto. Then prepare the starter system, drain the water. Open the inlet, the valves, inlet for cooling, set local to set remote to local, close the drain valve. So while waiting for your diesel generator to warm up, at least for 50, we must ready the other system. The service air system, we must drain the water content so to avoid damage the parts and components, open the supply air valve, inlet, shut off valve, set to local, 
close the drain then here at the freshwater hydro core system we prepare this one we are, we are just uh, preparing for the steering gear system we need to oil we fill the expansion tank open the valves okay now let's Let's now start the diesel generator number one for faster operation. Then let's start the diesel generator number two as well. Now proceed to electric power plant on the voltage control of the two generators and manage the alarm then connect diesel generator number one then proceed to feeders rest in then proceed to seawater system, open one pump, manage the alarm, set local to remote, proceed to freshwater system, set local to remote, then proceed to starter system, start, set the air compressors, set to remote, Proceed to panel directory, power chief pump controls, air compressor 1, C, C water. Then acknowledge the alarm. And proceed to service air compressor, press on, set to remote, and auto. So we proceed now to the air ventilation system, open the fans, then proceed to steering gear system, uh, open the safe matic block, set, uh, open the pumps, set local to remote, then set it to auto then proceed to then proceed to the steam generation plant fire boiler we open the vent close the steam line then uh, for the boiler combustion Open the atomizing air shut off valve and click the three way valve. Open the boiler air fan. Set the air flow to 100. Set the master control to 10. Oxygen control to 10. Oil flow to 10. Set, set the diesel, open diesel, then start the purging, Now the purging is started, so we wait 
till the air uh, reaches to zero point one. Now the flow of the air is reducing. Then reset the airflow to auto, oil flow to auto, master and oxygen. Then burner is turn on and burner 1 and 2. So the boiler is now firing, we proceed to steam generation plant, open the circulation outlet valve and the inlet and start one circulation pumps, open main feed water discharge valve, set the manual to zero, turn on the main feed water pump and set level control to auto. Now, while waiting for the temperature and pressure, we proceed to and prepare some systems. So, so the main engine lubrication system. So, we first check the temperature first of the boiler so we operate the purifier first So when the temperature reaches to 50, uh, the pressure will build up, this point 1. Then close the vent, the boiler vent valve. Wait the pressure until, until it reaches 7. So we will open it for the steam line. Then proceed to okay. steering gear, the stern tube system. So we fill up the lube oil sump pump, sump pump. Then the lube oil pump two. So we fill up the low gravity tank first. After that, the high gravity tank. So we'll go back to the steam generation plant, monitor the pressure. So it's okay to uh, it's okay for the lube oil sump pump to reduce because see uh, the pumps are uh, getting oil for the low gravity tank. So we'll proceed to the start air and check the pressure. Okay. So, refrigeration plan. 
Okay, open the sea water pump, slow boil cooler, circulation pump, the fans, open the fans, and turn on the makeup. Start, start the uh, temperature control. So first we manually uh, adjust the temperature, start, and the condenser. I think we open the another pump. Then we go back to this steam generation plant. The pressure is now at seven, so proceed to the boiler uh, boiler oil fired boiler. Open the steam line by thirty percent. Go for sixty percent. Jump to one hundred. Set the pump one to auto. Now we have steam. So proceed to fresh water system. Open the high temperature fresh water pumps number one. Set it to remote and auto. Now uh, we auto the high temperature fresh water pumps. Then after that, uh, we hit our settling tanks, open steam, and go to service tanks, open for the heavy fuel oil. We must ready these valves for changeover. So we open now the purifier of the heavy fuel oil temperature control to a 98 so wait for the temperature same as the separator number two Temperature is now high. Knowledge. So while waiting, we must uh, open the water supply, fill up the operating water tank. Ah, so I forgot. So we proceed here to the freshwater hydro for system. Uh, set uh, service air at least one bar of pressure. Then close now the. Uh, then set pump control to auto. 
activate uh, open the valve from the steam generation plant then activate the hot water recirculation pump Okay, so we, ha we have high, so we press the three way valve and fill up the high gravity tank. Then go back, then fill up the what operating water tank. Then proceed to HFO separator, then open again. Then check for uh, electric power plant. Now we synchronize our two generators. So click the cell generator number two, synchroscope. So we must increase the governor, we must trace. Okay, uh, start our semi-automatic synchronizing. So when the indicator reaches 12 o'clock, it will now synchronize. Okay, so our two generators are now synchronized. So set the decelerator number one to remote. Same for the decelerator number two. Proceed to main switch board off the semi-automatic synchroscope off our chief generator control set to auto prior 1 and 2 then they will share loads or equal load notice that the power is of the generator number one and two are the same okay now the two generators are now synchronized Proceed, we check the boiler. Okay. For the separator. Start the electric motor. Same for the purifier too. So, open the set the flow control to 10 suction same for the separate uh, separator 2 so waiting for speed so we will we will wait till the current reaches to 10 
Then for the turning the uh, for the main engine, set the auxiliary air blowers to auto. Then the lubrication oil system. So we must first activate the purifier the loop oil. Set the pump turn on the pump. So we will wait for the temperature. Ready the valves, uh, cooler, the bypass, the back flush filter, this one, fill up the cylinder lube oil. Go back to the ABT oil oil, start the uncap control, and the separator too. Go to fuel oil set service tanks, turn. drain the water. So we check uh, if there is flow. Okay. Then the loop oil purifier system. Set it to auto. Oh, the purifier. Okay. Start the purifier now. Set to auto. Okay, it is functioning well. Then proceed to the main engine maneuvering system. Okay, first we open the indicator cups. Two, 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 three, two, four, two, five. Acknowledge the alarm. Don't worry, so, uh, the oil here will circulate and will go back here to the sump tank so there is no need for refilling again. Then we open the air valves then ME local, managing local control Engage the turning gear
rate and then local control the alarm is trip low oil pressure so we'll make the oil flow to 30 start set so we'll conduct trial and error here you will oil system uh, okay we set set it to auto no open So activate one of the supply pumps but first we open first the valves the backflash or the bypass okay the bypass here okay fuel oil vehicles and start set to remote Set the pump control to auto. Then the loop oil pumps. Open the pump. Set the oil to remote. Temperature. Manage the alarm. Close the loop oil to come shop. Uh, set to auto. Viscosity control. Visco motor. Away. Oh no, okay. Then, uh, start the turning gear. It must have three revolutions, I think. Now we activate the air conditioning plant. Open the water supply, the steam, and turn on the air conditioning. Okay. the steam water the heating for the feed water generator just fill up this one so that the alarm will turn off the bilge wells so we set this one to automatic but first open the bilge pump set it to auto of low you know then
closely made up Knowledge the alarm Okay, then proceed to reviewing system, then local control, okay, one revolution, check the fuel oil system, check the log oil purifier, so okay, I'll show you how to Okay, we will also clean tank, service tanks. Okay, I'll show you how to change over from boiler. So we set this one, open this one, and the heavy fuel oil pump. So wait for the temperature until it reaches 99 or 98 before changing over. So we'll return. So we filled up uh, distilled water here for, from the expansion pump. So we can acknowledge the alarm. Okay. So, stop the turning gear and disengage. Now we start uh, air blowing for the main engine. Then we stop. Then close the indicator cock number one and two, three, four, five. So check again the fuel. Okay, uh, we are now ready to start the main engine. So start the main engine now. I forgot, I forgot. So, before that, we... The main bridge... Uh, transfer the responsibility here to engine... Wait lang. Engine control room standby. Governor to the remote. Set it to dead slow. Knowledge. Start.
so we must start our main engine now remote Okay, I'll set this one to engine control and standby. Ah, I see. So this one, and you're feeling set to remote, remote, to set to main engine control, control standby. Okay, so this one, knowledge. commanded slow then we proceed to bridge control uh, to ME local control dead slow where to start I think So we the engine main engine is now running. Close the heaters and start the cooling. With our fresh water generator. So vacuum control. The ejector pump. So we increase level enrichment this much. So we proceed here. Half winches, close the sheet mode. Then we'll command we'll command at C. Transfer the responsibility to bridge. Command slow. Set the lever to 40. Slow ahead.
temperature is low, set it to present. Okay. Proper tanks. Heaters. Lubrication. Then set the speed. To hot. Then we increase again to 60 for half ahead. Mm, we have high temperature. Okay, it's normal. Check this boiler combustion. Check the chip speed. Okay, we have twelve point fifty seven knots. Excuse me for my dog. So we must set it to full ahead. Seventy.
we set this one to full ahead. So there we have it. We have the full ahead of the main engine of the Tungsberg engine simulator. So check speed. We have 14.52 knots. Up, so it will reduce the alarm here. Okay guys, so that's it. So thank you for watching my video and kindly like, share and subscribe and comment down below. And this is for you guys for aspiring marine engineering students and seafarers. So stay safe and God bless to all.